Let's go on an adventure! Well, today we got some fun activities just for St. Patrick's Day. Oh. So we're gonna make some colorful shamrocks today. Does that sound fun? Oh, it yes, sounds really fun. Okay, so with St. Patrick's Day, we like to find shamrocks. Now, what color are shamrocks? Uh, they're green. So we, we can find some green ones, but we're gonna mix it up a little bit today. We're actually gonna talk about mixtures of colors. Ooh, I like to mix colors, especially with paint. Oh, that can be lots of fun too. Maybe another day. So today we're going to learn about chromatography. Can you say chromatography? Chromatography. Very nice. So chromatography is the separation of mixtures. Oh. And today the mixture we're going to separate is colors. Colors. So let's see. Colors are mixtures of other colors, really. So wow. let's see. Let's try purple. What mixtures of colors do you think purple might be? Mm, let me think. Mm. Uh, could it be um, blue and uh, red? That's so good. <laughs> nice job, Simon. <laughs> He's exactly right. Good job, Simon. Thank so you. our colors are mixtures of our primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Oh, that's so great. So we're gonna see if we can separate some of our very cool colors today. So to make our shamrock, you're gonna take one of our coffee filters, or if you don't have a coffee filter at home, you can take a paper towel from your kitchen, oh. or what else might they use, Simon? Um, could they use a napkin? They sure could. Uh, and uh, what about toilet paper? <laughs> you could use toilet paper uh, too. That might disintegrate the Maybe a little bit, yeah. but any of our, our good papers should work with this experiment. So let's take our coffee filter, and what we're going to do is we are going to fold it in half. There we go. We're going to fold it just like that. What that do you think good. that looks like? That sort of looks like um, a quesadilla. He's right, just like a yummy quesadilla. Oh, that's good. Okay, so once we've got it folded, it's time to add our colors. Ooh! Let's start with black. Mm. Oh, black? Is so black a color? Black is a color. It's actually the mixture of all the different colors. Oh! So let's see. So with our black marker, any of our colors, we're going to make some really dark circles. Wow! There we go. So That looks like um, a Dalmatian. Oh, yes it does. Or maybe pepperonis on a pizza. <laughs> so let's add some other colors now too. We got our black circles. Let's add some purple as well. Ooh. Mm. Now I'm pressing pretty hard to make sure I get lots of color. Let's That's try it. Good. Now let's add our green as well. At home, you can choose any colors you want, but try not to choose the primary colors. We want to see our mixtures of colors in oh, this experiment. Primary, that's uh, blue, red, and um, uh, yellow. Very nice, Simon. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> So I've got my quesadilla with maybe a few pepperonis on it with our different colors. So now that we've got it all ready to go, I'm going to fold it two more times. Two more times? Two more times. So there's one. There we go. Oh, Just like that. That looks like a piece of pie. It looks like a piece of pie. And then one more time. What does that look like, Simon? A piece of pizza. Oh, maybe a pizza pizza. So you're going to fold it all the way like a pizza pizza. That's good. Okay, so then we're going to take 
our our cup. You can just use a cup at home, Ooh. but we're gonna use our science beaker here and take the tip of our coffee filter and put it lightly to the bottom. Ooh. I don't have much water in here. Hmm. Not how much? We only have about a centimeter of water down at the bottom, just a little tiny bit. As we watch, Simon, what do you see happening? Oh, the water's going up. It is, it's traveling up our filter. Wow. Whoa. What, I don't, how would it do that? I don't know, it's sort of going against gravity. It, it is, so this is called capillary action. Capillary action? You're right, there you go, Simon. So capillary action is soaking up through the narrow, tiny channels, this liquid or our water. So on a really, really tiny scale, our water can filter through our coffee filter all the way up to the top. It can even go against gravity. What? So let's see what's happening with our capillary action okay. as it's pulling our inks Ooh. up the filter. Do you see something happening with our colors? Yeah. They're, they're splitting apart. They are. Our different colors are splitting into more and more. <gasps> There's colors there that weren't there before. You're right. Oh, I see blue on here. Do we have a blue marker? No. But no. Wait, that purple had blue and red in it. You're right. Our purple marker has split into different colors. It's split into blue and red. Wow. Very nice. We did a great job, Simon. That was really good. I bet you guys at home are doing a great job, too. <laughs> so once we've watched our water fil or filter all the way to the top, we can pull out our coffee filter, Ooh. shake it a little bit. Yeah. There we go. We're going to lay it out, carefully open it up, and look at our beautiful colors. Oh. Wow. Wow. That's gorgeous. It's beautiful. So we're going to let this one dry for a few minutes. Now, I have one that we let dry a few minutes ago. Whoa. Whoa. We see so many different colors. Thanks to chromatography. Thanks to chromatography, our separation of mixtures. So now to make our colorful shamrock, we're going to use our, our crab fingers here and Ooh. we're going to pinch our coffee filter. Pinchy, pinchy. So we're going to divide it into three pieces, just like our three leaf clover. All right. So I'm going to pinch it at the top and I'm going to pinch it at the bottom and squeeze <laughs> to the middle. Oh, wow. There we go. Oh, so I've got how many cloves on there? One. Two, three. Very nice. <laughs> Our three leaf clover. <laughs> so if you need some help with this one, feel free to ask a friend or a member of your family. Yeah, I might need some help pinching. That's okay. We all need a little help sometimes. Now, to make sure your three leaf clover stays right, you can take a pipe cleaner, or maybe some string, and oh. wrap it around the different clothes. And look at that! Our project is done. You that have looks a very so good. We have a. It does. It looks great. You have a beautiful, colorful three-leaf clover, just in time for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, and in Ireland, they call that a shamrock. You're right. They do. Shamrocks help us celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So. That's great. To help you guys celebrate at home, you can make one of our colorful shamrocks. And have a happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone! Happy St. Patrick's Day!